in this video we are going to learn how to track google ad purchase conversions for your wordpress woocommerce store so now it is connected and here is also connected and you can see tag file conversion link 29 and conversion value 281 281 and okay currency code everything is firing conversion level con conversion id conversion level value hi guys i am smriti from solutions 8 and in this video we are going to learn how to track google ad purchase conversions for your wordpress woocommerce store okay so we are going to use google tag manager for this also okay so first of all uh, log into your wordpress backend then go to here plugins just hover over it then click on add new then source for gtm for wp gtm for wp so here is the plugin that we need to install click on install now activate okay so after installation you you should get this kind of notification to start using google tag manager for wordpress please enter your gtm id so to get gtm id go to your tag manager and copy your gtm id this is your gtm id just copy it and click here enter your uh, gtm id then paste your gtm id that's it then click here off no tweak right placement then save this then sometime it will automatically off so we need to turn it turn on it again then save this again okay so now it is turned on then you need to click here integration then woocommerce then just enable this track enhanced e-commerce okay then scroll down then for better for accurate ROAS calculation we need to exclude tax and shipping from the uh, revenue okay so enable this to exclude tax and enable this to exclude shipping then save this okay now this plugin will create data layer for your wordpress store okay so to check your data layer go to here tag manager click here preview just put your website url then click on connect okay now you can see tag assistant is connected and here it is also connected continue then uh, we need to make a test process for to check the data layer and everything is passing correctly or not okay so I'm going to select this item add to cart view cart proceed to checkout okay then place order okay so we are seeing the thank you message thank you your order has been received so we have successfully placed an order 
so now let's check whether our data layer are firing or not so here you can see an event purchase has been created you can click here and click on data layer then you can check all the details okay so the revenue is uh, 559 okay so revenue is same 559 here and uh, as we are excluding tax and shipping here also the revenue will come uh, without tax and shipping because tax and shipping here is nothing so you can you can you know um, get the accurate revenue like this so now we can track our uh, you can create our conversion action for this and we can prop we can pass um, the revenue and uh, uh, now there is transaction id okay so transaction id transaction id and value you can pass okay so go to your uh, google tag uh, sorry uh, google ad dashboard and click here tools and settings and click on conversions okay now click here uh, new conversion action then click here website then enter your domain let me copy from here then click here add a conversion action manually and choose your category purchase and from here you have to select primary or yeah for secondary okay then for conversion action name your conversion action then for value choose uh, use different values for each conversion okay then count for every and choose your uh, windows click through windows engage with windows and attribution model and uh, click on done then save and continue then uh, then click here done then again click here then click here tag setup then to use uh, google tag manager for this then we have conversion id and conversion level okay so go to your tag manager click here tags click here new name your tag yes then choose google ad conversion tracking then paste uh, first of all we need to you know uh, create conversion link uh, click here create and just save this save okay so now uh, copy your uh, conversion id and conversion level from here copy your conversion id paste it then level and for conversion value we need to fetch dynamically so click here to fetch dynamically click here plus create a new variable then choose this option data layer variable 
then for value we have our dot layer ready we need to track the value okay so to track the value copy the parent first uh, it is under e-commerce okay so it is under e-commerce and value so copy the parent first then dot to add another and copy the value okay copy the revenue uh, actually uh, i think revenue is accurate so we should uh, pass the revenue instead of value because we have excluded tax and shipping from the revenue not from the value so for value uh, we need to pass the revenue okay so revenue as you can see it is under e-commerce then purchase then action field and revenue so first of all we have uh, uh, in access the uh, parent then a dot to add another then next parent would be purchase paste it then again dot to add another then uh, inside purchases it is action field action field then again dot inside action field we have revenue then we have revenue okay now it's fine okay so just save it this is not a glitch i'm interrupting the video you're watching because i need to remind you that i'm always looking for people to join our team so if you're passionate about google ads and you want to work with the best google ads agency on the planet please go to solate.com forward slash apply speaking of working with the best google ads agency on the planet if you're having trouble with google ads and you want professional help that's what we do you can go to solate.com that's s-o-l-8.com to apply for your free no obligation action plan and if i've given you any level of value at all maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel that's how we juice the youtube algorithm so they actually know that i know what i'm talking about if you have questions comments concerns or confessions hit me below in the comments and now back to your regularly scheduled program and uh, then we need to pass the transaction id same we have to pass from the data layer click here to pass from the data layer then class then name your variable data layer variable and for dot for for id transaction id here is our transaction id and it's under e-commerce only so copy its parent and paste it and then transaction id then save this then for triggering after, after uh, okay so we have uh, passed value dynamic value transaction id and for currency code you can pass from the data layer as well but uh, my site is dealing with ina so i am you know putting ina just here okay so if you want to pass it dynamically then you can uh, pass from here okay so here is currency code you can access this by e-commerce dot currency code okay then after we need to create a triggering click here then click here to create a new trigger cats then select custom event okay so now we need to put this event name because this event name fires when someone make a purchase so paste your event name and save this 
so everything is done just save this okay so now we need to recheck whether our tag uh, is firing or not so i'm closing this old preview mode and create a new preview mode connect so now it is connected and here is also connected and you can see tag fired conversion linker fire, tag is fired and gas conversion tag is not fired okay so let make a purchase uh, this time i'm going to choose this one Add to cart, view cart, then cross it to checkout, then okay. So now plus order, okay. So our order has been completed. Now you can see our gas conversion WP tag is fired, okay. So click here and uh, click here purchase and click here so more and here you can see the transaction ID which should be our order ID 1529 1529 and conversion value 281 281 and okay currency code everything is firing conversion level con conversion id conversion level value transaction id everything is passing correctly so now we can publish our container okay so close this and just publish just submit your container to make it public you can skip this so now our container has been published okay and uh, after some time after getting some conversion you can also see conversion here as well so in this way you can create your purchase conversion action for woocommerce store okay so i hope you like this video if you have any question then please ask me inside the comment area please subscribe to this channel to watch these kind of valuable tutorial and uh, don't uh, forget to share this video if you think this is valuable and thank you for watching and see you again another video another tutorial like this bye bye Hi guys, I'm Smriti from Solutions 8 and today I'm again back with another interesting tutorial for you and this time we are going to learn how to set up Google Ad Enhanced Conversion for your Shopify store using Google Tag Manager.